Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Samsung SSD 840 EVO 120GB solid state drive. Now it's been a while since I've last reviewed an SSD and because I needed another SSD now, it's the perfect opportunity for one more SSD review. The Samsung drive is a widely known one, probably because of its attractive price point. In the box is the installation guide, the warranty paper, a CD with software and a manual, then there also are stickers and last but not least the SSD itself. Today we're obviously looking at the 120GB version of the Samsung SSD 840 EVO solid state drive. This SSD features the Samsung MEX 400MHz controller and makes use of the TLC Toggle 19nm NAND technology. This of course is a SATA 6 gigabit per second drive and the following read and write results are to be expected. 540 megabytes per second read and 410 megabytes per second write. 256 megabytes of LPDDR2 cache is used here. When it comes to SSDs, power consumption is so low it's not really worth mentioning. This drive could draw a little over 2 watts at max. The Samsung SSD 840 EVO is a really beautiful SSD. Its casing is out of metal and it comes with that nice finish on it. The back cover also is out of metal and that's also where the label is located at on this SSD. As I've said before, SATA 6 gigabit per second is used as the interface. This isn't a 9mm thick SSD though, it's 7mm and therefore very slim, which is good because you can even fit it into very slim notebooks. But now let's see how fast this SSD actually is. The Samsung SSD 840 EVO 120GB SSD has very good performance to offer. Especially now that the prices got lower, an SSD could be the ideal upgrade to speed up your PC. And you'd certainly make no mistake by going for this Samsung drive. Compared to all the other SSDs I've tested and had so far, this one overall is the best one. I've only used 120GB drives for my systems and out of all the other 120GB drives, this Samsung SSD 840 EVO was the best performing one, yet the cheapest of them in terms of pricing. However, when it comes to SSDs these days, there's not much difference in performance really, except you go for a really cheap one. So to make it clear, the Samsung drive overall is better than the other SSDs I've tested, but the actual performance boost over the other drives isn't that big. The quality and simple design by far is the best one I've seen on an SSD too. Of course that's just my personal opinion. I certainly don't regret my purchase and I'm sure this SSD will be a great addition to my main system. I'd definitely recommend the Samsung SSD 840 EVO 120GB solid state drive. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.